What's up guys, Sam Man back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Meagle style, retro clothing style, whatever you want to call it, NECA Real Toys Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. So this is based off of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, which came out I believe in 1990. Out of the original three movies, or the first three I should say, this is probably the weakest one. Be Texas Chainsaw Massacre obviously being the best one, and part two being my second favorite, and more I would say comedic. Uh, the third one's a little bit cheesy, but it's still an you know all around good time horror flick. Now I'm a big fan of Leatherface, so you know it's good to have you know different versions of Leatherface. So you have this really cool card right there in the background with artwork that NECA usually gives us, kind of like in this, you know, the normal packaging they give us. And then right here on the back, you have the figure. And you got a little bit of a read-up right there, so you guys can read the description of the movie. And that's it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a close look at Leatherface. get in this uh, package you get the really cool card right here with the artwork right there on the back of Leatherface which looks really cool and you can see it's, it reads the saw is family on the chainsaw and then there's the, uh, the back of the card right there and now we have Leatherface's chainsaw right here and this is actually really nice I like the paint de details on this one and I like the design the sculpting on the chainsaw looks really really cool you can see the handle right there and uh, yeah, this is just very, very nice. It's gonna unplug here so you can place it inside Leatherface's hands. You have the, the pull string right over here. And on, on the blade itself, it does read the saw is family. So you can see that. And then you can see it on this side right here. But I like the designs right over here. I think this is really, really nice. And the um, handle you can make out right there. The blade itself is not softer material. So if you bend it, you can actually break it. So. There's a quick look at the chainsaw. And here we have Leatherface. Look at the head sculpt on this guy. Look at the mask. So nice. You can see the stitching on there. He's got the messed up teeth. You can still make out the eyes. It looks okay. It doesn't look that great, but it still looks creepy. Um, the hair on this guy looks pretty nice. I think in the movie he was actually a little bit more heavier. It's been a while since I've seen the third movie, but I think it was a lot more heavier than this. It's a little bit too slim for him. Um, you can see part of the bottom of the mask right here coming out and all the stitching, you know, the different skins that he has on here. It's pretty nice. I like the head sculpt on this. Uh, the shirt you can see right here with a little bit of like, uh, I don't know if it's like supposed to be blood. I mean, there is obviously blood stains on there. and looks like it could be some dirt. And then you have this tie right over here and you got his belt you can see the buckle right over there and then you have the closed fist right over here you can see the dirty hands and then on the, the cool thing I like about this is you know he's got brown pants on but he also has the little brace to support his legs so you can see all the buckles right there I think that's really nice I love how they you know made this it looks really really cool um, but again there's the pants right here there's a back look at the pants and then you have his boots right there no peg holes at the bottom now we'll go over his articulation here really quick the head sculpt can you know can obviously rotate you can tilt it it goes up and down arms go in and out forward and back it's got a bend at the elbow the hand can rotate it's got a hinge there as well it's got waist rotation legs go in and out forward and back bend at the knee uh, this one you can still bend the knee even though he has a brace on there. The foot can go up and down and I think you can kind of rotate it there as well. So he's got pretty good range of motion for, you know, the Migo style, um, you know, figures. So to get Leatherface to hold on to the chainsaw, you got to open this part right here and you slide the hand right over here. And for the handle part, same thing right here. This bottom part, you know, detaches and you just install the hand right over there. And there you go, guys. Today we're taking a look at the NECA retro style or Migo style Real Toys Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. You guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this figure. Are you going to pick it up? Is it a pass? What is your favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, including the new ones? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to pick this up, you can pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com. Click on the link in the description. Stay tuned for more horror figure reviews. Subscribe if you guys haven't. See ya. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends.